Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about five important NA10 nodes that every scraper needs. We are not gonna scrape data using programming languages anymore. So let's get started. All right, NA10 for scraper. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can scrape data from book to scrape. We wanna scrape thumbnails, prices, titles, and product URL if I'm not mistaken. And also, I'm going to show you how we can save them into Google Sheet, which is great, okay? Because uh, apart from saving data to databases, 90% uh, of time we prefer CSV and Sheets, okay? And we can easily save data to Google Sheet via Google Sheet Note, okay? I'm going to uh, explain uh, in a minute. So let me just, uh, first of all, execute this workflow. Uh, it scrapes data for the first page and uh, save them into Google Sheet less than two or three seconds, <laughs> which is mind blowing. And uh, I don't know what to say. It's really hard to say goodbye to programming languages for scraping because uh, my main job is scraping and extracting data and <laughs> it is really, really frightening maybe. And um, so let's talk about these nodes that I've used. And I think uh, with using these uh, five nodes, you can scrape anything that you want anything okay and uh, also if you want to paginate and go to the next page you just can uh, put a loop over item here which is the same loop that we normally use from uh, for example for i from one to something like that and it's easy okay and i think that's not important for in this case and uh, all that we need are included in these five nodes number one let me show you the nodes exactly http request which is crazy most of the time when you check out a tutorial on youtube uh, eh, they just they just put uh, the url here and most of the time get request you know and that's it but as a scraper you can see that we can um for example play with proxy which is great if you prefer you want you can put the proxy here and uh, apart from that, you can send uh, headers and query parameters. You can uh, authenticate the request, uh, which is uh, handy, okay? And also there is an import CURL curl. You can uh, just uh, paste it here and then it converts the request into HTTP request node, which is fast and reliable in my opinion. And also you have the ability to check out the data in three uh, types schema table json json the most important one and that's it and also you can see that even even for pagination they have something here and then uh, you just need to update it updates the query itself okay so no need for for loops i mean loop over items but in some cases that is needed but generally we can scrape easily here everything that we want everything that we implement normally via python or node.js or anything else we have all of them here in one node which is crazy and um, also you can uh, say that okay if it fails you can retry for example and at the end if uh, for example it bombard the api you can just uh, set continue using error output and you can handle the output here as you can see and it's handy okay so let me just uh i pressed ctrl z i i don't know why it didn't work um okay the first note that i'm gonna ah oh, wait stop workflow yeah the next thing that i need is parsing the html because as you can see at the right we have this uh, dairy an H raw HTML file, okay? And now it's time for something like beautiful soup, Cheerio, or <laughs> nothing. You just need to uh, use HTML node. And it is, I don't know, it is really easy, okay? It is easier than ever else. Ever else? What the hell? <laughs> and uh, for example, I wanted to uh, scrape titles. As you can see, let me show you here titles are locate, located in h3 and then uh, we just need to grab uh, i mean go to h3 then a a tag then scrape the text and as you can see here 
we simply say that h3a and we wanna um, for example I search based on attribute because because I wanted to script the attribute here title is located in the attribute also I could uh, scrape and take the text but uh, I prefer attribute and uh, you have some options okay and uh, you can set the attribute here if you prefer whole HTML element you can just select HTML easy for example for thumbnail in image dot thumbnail it means the class of image tag is thumbnail if you see let me show you in a second how easy it is as you can see src img tag src attribute and that's it and if it is more than one if you if you remember in beautiful soup uh, you can do something like find and find all okay and that's the return array here and uh, same for the rest product url h3a and that's it and uh, we easily scrape the data oh what happened because i changed some stuff here for pagination i think and yeah i'm ready to go let me execute this step crazy and let me run this step sure it's cool so now uh, it just as you can see you can play you can play with it okay i didn't have enough time to make a clear and crazy workflow but I just return titles, thumbnails, uh, prices, and product URL in one list. I mean, they are included and located in four different lists. But uh, for example, the first item in the thumbnail uh, is exactly for the first product, and also same for title and thumbnail and price and product URL. I mean, for example, these these one are uh, if we can map them. Okay, hard to, to talk about such a thing in English I, I, I don't know why but what I was saying and um, another note which is I'm you know it is something like wipe coding but uh, you can code even sometimes if you prefer and uh, I just decided to say that okay we have uh, five uh, I don't know not five maybe four yeah four variables and then I just uh, created a loop in JavaScript using chat gpt okay uh, for those who are uh, in my channel you know that i, I don't share stuff uh, related to node.js and javascript only python and uh, although it supports python but i just ask chat gpt to i have some lists and i want to convert uh, each product using a mapping something like that and if you run this step you can see that mm, for now we have each title, each thumbnail, each price, and each product in one uh, dictionary or uh, yeah, dictionary thing in a list. It has uh, 20 items. I mean, uh, the 20 products that we scraped and then we parse them here. And uh, we have a problem. As you can see, for the thumbnail, we don't have the domain, okay? For example, we need, we need something to, uh, oh, copy this and uh, put exactly that domain before this um, incomplete path maybe and that's why you could use uh, I mean do, do exactly such a thing here in the code but I wanted to uh, uh, I, I wanted I don't want it to uh, use much uh, use too much coding okay I wanted to stick to no coding uh, scraping something like that that's why I use edit field and exactly I said that we have a title I said the title is gonna be the title using a uh, drag and drop simple drag and drop also for the thumbnail but for the thumbnail I put the let me let me show you let me remove this it is exactly return what we have what we already have okay but now I just add these uh, things for thumbnail and product URL because we need that for product URL as well and as you can see yeah that's it okay and um, what else and also let me sh uh, let me tell you that we have some uh, nodes here for example for exactly what we did to uh, map that item we have aggregate okay which uh, does the same you can play with it we have merge we have we have we have many things okay 
and I just wanted to show you now as a scraper you need this node okay one day maybe and that's it we just converted them and now it's time for saving data to Google Sheet yeah you just need to import Google Sheet give it uh, the credential that is necessary and here let me first of all remove at first you just need to create the uh, headers okay for the sheet that you want to save uh, the scrape data on it and then uh, if you see let me let me show you okay why do I need to run the same nodes and uh, let me let me first of all run this code and here uh, add column to send you can see that uh, it uh, says the title, thumbnail, price, product, URL. Okay, I didn't mention them. Let's see. For example, test. Okay, let me save this and uh, let me close this node and come to this part. Now, oh, where is the test? Oh, there is a refresh button here. Thanks. Oh, yeah, we got the test from here. Yeah, you can see the test here right now. And uh, it is really which is really cool and handy okay which is really handy in my opinion I may use NA10 for my scraping projects from now on why not and each time that you change anything you can see that uh, notification some I don't know what to say in English but yeah anyway uh, we want to save some data for example title and uh, where is the title here <laughs> easy okay I don't know it is it is just easy as it is <laughs> what is the thumbnail here it is a thumbnail crazy and what is the um, price it is a price man and also last one product URL it is a product URL let's give it a try mm -hmm. okay cool that's it easy okay and uh, that's enough for now and I just thought that these nodes are more than enough for a scraper if you want to scrape data and extract data from a website for anything that you want no matter an API uh, raw HTML as you just saw for the in this case you can use NA10 and I believe these nodes are the most important nodes for any scraper and that's it for this video and guys if you like uh, these videos uh, let me let me know in comments below so from now on i can make more content about na10 specifically scraping in na10 and uh yeah i hope to see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe and like this video